<sighs> I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. You, our friends are... different. Open-minded, accepting, like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends, too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time, but it does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him in a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family from a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely, so much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. What's your point, James? After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you.
take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, tell her, tell her I forgive her. Please, I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. I, I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Go look in another direction. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Get my back. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Walkers, 
Use them as shields. the walkers. Use them as shields. shields. shields.
on, Willie. Supplies going overboard! God damn it! Someone get over there and see what's going on! Thanks, sir! Now's our chance. We can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. The guts are washing off. I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. get our friends out. Many said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Glenn, 
this is got to be the boiler right yeah it looks like it that's where we need to plant the bomb there's too much stuff in the way maybe there's another way in Wait here. Masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Oh, shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. people. I swear to God, if you got Tim caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's... he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Don't now. fucking point that at me. Killing Violet. Don't catch me. They, uh, they 
cut out his tongue. He just, uh, he kept fucking talking. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Louis. <laughs> We're getting out of here, okay? Let's get you home. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be home soon. We're not staying here that long. There's a gap here. Too small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... How are you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar, are you hurt? I... Fuck. I just want to go home. We will. Okay. I found your rabbit's foot back on the beach. Clearly it doesn't work. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here.
Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. That seems like a pretty stupid way to make a point. It was extreme. But I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie, no, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, 
you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Uh. Easy! Uh. Stay still. Shit. Fuck you, no! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Hey, Jay! Son of a bitch! That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Bang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get thing moving. I want to be far away from here, fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. For Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance... I know. I know. Okay? Sophie's dead. I have a new family. You all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you. You can have a nice life. Be rewarded. Just like I am. You can sink with the rest of them. Behind you! You're the fucking problem here! I won't let you get them all killed! No! Better see you on land. 
You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Found one Plenty more food, sneaky comfortable dogs. Comfortable you and Clem. You can even... Sh Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friend. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No!
Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. Lower the gun, Agent. Okay. 